Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry, if I did this in my last video, I'm just gonna put my glasses out of the way because, sorry to check, um, the ring light's a bit annoying, but I've got my coffee loving you made by Jake and I've got down here loads of things from, so a few different shops. So this week I, for the first time in 2022, popped two B&M, The Range and Home Bargains um, and just put them a few bits, some cleaning bits, some bits just for decor and stuff. So I thought I would show you so um, you might enjoy it. So let's get ahead with the haul. Jake makes a good coffee. So, where should I start? Should I start with, let's go, we'll go with the range. So, first thing I picked up from the range was this lantern. So you can see it's sort of like a teardrop shape um, and the shape, and I just thought that was really pretty and it's black. And I wanted it for actually to go in here, so. This is a little cupboard behind me. Um, I was gifted this really beautiful print from We Love Prints and I put it into like, my dressing room. Um, and then I've got a little table down here. I wanted some stuff to go on the little table to add a bit of decor. So, and this by the way, I will have got a discount code, which I will leave in the box down below. Um, this video isn't sponsored by We Love Prints at all. That was something I did on Instagram, but I just thought I'd show you. So I've got these in my kitchen and I've had these since day one. Um, and when they reached out to me, I was like, yes, please. Um, and so they have over 600 original prints to choose from. They're printed in the UK, they're printed on really high quality paper. They've got eco-friendly packaging, so many like, benefits to this company. Um, and they've got a wide range. And this is like their signature sort of style with like, the dripping sort of like watercolor. And it's really, really nice. Um, so I will leave the link down below and also my discount code. So tag me if you get anything on Instagram and then I would love to see where you put it in your house. But anyway, so this is what I wanted. So I wanted some black accents to match the frame. So. I just picked this up and you just put the candle in there. And then I'm presuming you wouldn't, you could like spin it around like that. But I just thought that was really like different and I haven't seen anything like that before. So I picked that, but I think it was an offer as well. So that was one to go into the basket. Then I picked up from the range. Oh, I'll go to another home haul. So um, this, so I've already got one of these, um, but I wanted another one um, for again up here or in my office. Um, so it's just, it's already got the little basket, but the one I've got downstairs, I've just put into a different, um, a different like basket just to, well, I don't really know why, just to vary up. It's already got this gray one. So if that's like your tones or your house, or you can put it into a different thing, but I just really like the greenery of it and like the different shades of green. Um, and it looks quite realistic, I think. Um, yeah, so it picked that one up. And I think that's like 5 99 or something ridiculous. So really good and then i picked up another plant which was this one so this one is in like as you can see like a marble sort of effect um pot and it's a um i think they've called it a fern doesn't say yeah fern in marble pot is what they've called it um and again like the different greens and just the way like it falls over i just thought it was quite nice and I think this one may have been a bit more, I think this maybe was £10. But again, I just thought this was quite nice with the white and you didn't put it into another pot, but this pot is quite sturdy as well. So it looks way more expensive than what it was. So I've got that one as well. Then I picked up, I think the other things I picked up were just um, like cleaning stuff, but and a couple of things to school, but I'll show you anyway. So picked this up in the range. So they actually have like a whole, my, well, I believe it's every range, but my range has like a whole um, like cleaning section. So this is my one of my favorite scents and it was an extra large pack. I'm gonna sniff it just because I love it. So it's called Gold Orchid Chic. Um, and they also had some other ones. I was looking for their new scents because they got often have like new spring scents, but um, this is a golden, literal golden one that I, golden oldie that I like. Um, then I picked up um, some more of this, so some Febreze anti -back, Um and I spray this on my bed. So this one's got anti back in it as well, so it just kills any bacteria. Um, and it's in morning freshness, and it kills bacteria on fabric. Um, and it says it's tested on SARS. Yeah, I'm assuming that's another type. That's a type of bacteria, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so just got that to spray on my bed in the morning. Then I picked up this, which I haven't seen before. So this was one pound, I think. So it was really cheap, I thought. Um, and something you'd get like in home bags and something. It's elbow grease stain remover spray, pre-wash. Great for collars and cuffs. And it says fresh stains, dried and stains, the only cleaning you'll ever need. So I think you just spray it on there. So I just picked that up to give it a try. Um, 
yeah, so I'll let you know once I've used it. I'll give a little bit of a recommendation for that one. But for a pound, again, you can't really go wrong. And then this, which I haven't seen. So if you've seen my cleaning videos, you know I like Barkeeper's Friend for my um, like chrome bits in my sink. And then I found this. So I found a Barkeeper's Spray, and I haven't seen that before, ever. Let me know if I'm just going crazy. But it's a Barkeeper's Friend all-purpose power spray surface cleaner. Tough on grease and grime, and it says vertical surfaces, kitchen and bathroom. Um, so it says ceramic, stainless steel, copper, chrome, glass, porcelain, aluminium, fiberglass, brass, and tiles. So that gives you loads. And it says it removes lime scale. So I'm gonna use that. And it's just easier than having the powder because I'm, my powder is actually nearly run out as well. So it wasn't a wasted purchase. So picked that one up. Then for school, um, you're gonna think like, I'm crazy, but I thought I'd show you just in case it isn't, like, some people like it. But um, so we have like a do we do star of the week? And I've got like a little goodie box that the children get to choose. So if they're star of the week, they get to pick a little prize. And it's just little things. So like um, I got the other day actually, which was really good. Um, like it was like 18 mechanical pencils from Poundland. Like, so you know the ones that you pump up and the children love things like that. Like I put rubbers in there, post-it notes. And I saw these and I thought I'd put them in there because yeah, you never know. So just picked up these notes and they were all in the sale as well. So they were a pound, but I think they were only like 50p. So just a pack of like notes. Um, picked up a couple of these so these were originally 79p but i think these are 50p as well um just some really cute paper clips so it says um squeeze the squeeze the day instead of seize the day that's quite clever with a lemon and then just a lemon um and then also got this one so a pear and a little daisy flower thing so my kids just tend to like things like this for their prizes and then this one i bought and i thought i bought two of these and i thought i could split them up just some lemon um, notes um, but they're quite nice this is a lemon sticky notes um, but they're just quite nice if you've got like if you've got like a little cupboard in your house that you want little notepads and stuff so or little party favors things like that so picked that up from the rain so next I'll show you what I got in B&M so this was my first B&M trip since way before Christmas but um, I thought I'd show you so I went in for a couple of things that I needed and then I picked up a couple of things that I didn't need but liked um, so the first thing I got was this, oh, if it doesn't come out, oh, I'll show you this. This is the first thing that I didn't need, but I got because it was five pounds. Um, and it is just this Geo, um, it's called a Geo pendant shade, um, but it says it's dual purpose. So it says it can be used for a lampshade or a pendant shade. Let me see how it can be used for a lampshade. Anyway, um, so I was gonna use this to either hang in my office my bedroom or this room that I'm in now. So when we first got the bulbs, I was when we first moved in, um, before everything was finished, it was just a bit like depressing just looking at like hanging bulbs. So from Dunelm, I bought some white shades and they were a pound each, which like, and they're absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. But now that we're like styling the rooms out a bit more, um, we bought a couple of black shades from like the um, Ikea and stuff. But I picked this up for five pounds and I'm gonna put that somewhere, which I just thought was quite nice. They're just a black geometric, um, and actually, I might have to get a different bulb because obviously you'll see the bulb through it, won't you? But we'll see. Yeah, so got that one. I didn't think about the bulb, now I do. Um, then I picked up one of these, so a shower squee squeegee. Um, so just grey plastic. So now that we've got our um, shower screen, like I can rub it and do that and just self-explanatory, really. Then I also saw this as well, um, which could be used for the shower or the... Um, windows in my house so it's a two-in-one microfiber squeegee with a built-in spray tank and this was three pounds so you fill it and then you obviously spray give it a little shimmy with the microfiber and then on the other side i can do the squeegee bit um so it's just quite useful that it's all in one i think that just yeah so that just screws off and down like that um so you could just put fairy liquid in or something like that in it just so fairy liquid cleans everything very well um so yeah, so pick that one up, and as I said, that was three pounds on a special buy. Um, then I picked up a bit of household, so just picked up 120 press and seal um, fridge and freezer bag. So we, yeah, just we ran out, so that's why. So just picked up some of those. Then obviously things got their Easter places in, but I couldn't resist these, so I got um, a mixed five pack of eggs. 
um, which I haven't seen before actually. So it's got one Oreo egg, two caramel and two cream eggs. Cream eggs are my favourite, but I thought the caramel ones are quite nice. So Drake and I can have those for a treat with a cup of tea in the evening. So picked that up. Um, then I saw this, I was just walking down the aisle and I got it because it was a special buy for £2.50 and it says it's new as well. So what it is basically, um, well, it's a hanging storage basket. So it's just a black woven basket with one handle on one side. I need to like putting into shape, but basically you hang it like that. And then I thought you, I could have like a plant in it or um, they've got, what have they got on it? Yeah, they've got a plant in a book. Let me show you. So they've got like a plant in a book and it was, it's new five pounds and it was a special buy two pound 50. That's why I got it. I wouldn't have spent five pounds on it. Um, but I just thought with a hook for hanging, I just thought that was quite nice. It would add some things, maybe on the back of a door, um, something like that. So just pick that one up. And then the last thing, which is the one thing I went in, the thing I actually went in for, just was this basket. So I've seen these baskets for ages. They've been in there for a really long time. It was on my wish list, um, but I never really had a use for it. So I didn't want to buy it if I didn't have a use for it because they are 10 pounds. I think, yeah, it's just a woven, they've got these in black and I think it has them in grey and white as well. But I've moved some furniture around and I need some uh, what, a storage basket to put some of Jake's stuff in, in the office. Um, and I just thought this was quite nice and I thought again, styled with a plant maybe, um, or ba um, a blanket over that would look very nice. So they're quite sturdy as well actually, considering they're woven. Um, so yeah, picked that up from B&M. And then I also picked up this, which is a bathroom storage collection. And it's space saving um, and it's an over the door hanger. So if I just put that, you can see, um, and it's got hooks on there. So again, like you could um, put your towel or something like that. And you've got like, they put bottles in there and a little plant. Um, it was 10 pounds. And also um, one thing I'm worried about, I might take it back is it's over the door. So I didn't realize until, well, I taken it out of the bag, but I don't want you to be able to see the hooks on the other side. Do you know what I mean? So I might have to see if Jake can, oh my gosh, look at my hair, that is crazy, sorry. Um, I might have to see if Jake can maybe screw it in or something or, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm not really keen on the hooks over the door. Or I could put it, I've got, I'm just looking now, I've got a door like just there. Um, I wonder if I could put it on there because the hooks on the other side, do you know what I mean? So you'd see that, but you wouldn't see the hooks. I have a think. But yeah, so got that one. So that would be quite nice. If maybe like a children's room over a wardrobe, something like that in your bathroom or like somewhere downstairs. Um, just to add a little bit more, it frees up some of your counter space, stuff like that. So that is what I got from there. Then from Home Bargains. Now, I haven't been in Home Bargains since ages. I can't even remember the last time. I went in for a few things and came out with a storage box filled with things and a bag. So some things I got just got like, I won't show you, like toilet roll, um, stuff like that you don't need to see, but just some of the things in case you're interested. So I've got these, which I haven't seen before. So these are soft center fiber bars. So they're like the fiber one, but a different brand. And it says they're 99 calories. Um, and it, they're like a soft center. So I've got two of those in chocolate flavor. I picked up some of these, so Fiorella chocolate biscuits, and they've got white chocolate on, so we like those um and then also picked up some antibacterial surface wipes in lemon so i've got two of those um and it cuts through grease and dirt alcohol and bleach free so we can use them on our side which is good and it kills e coli mrsa flu virus salmonella and listeria so i like to use these to wipe once i've used chicken like on my chicken chopping board i like to wipe the board before i then wash it with one of these because it kills obviously the salmonella which i know sounds really ridiculous but that's just the way I am. Sorry. Let me know if you do that as well. Um, then my big storage box, which is down here. Um, I picked up some elbow grease um, gloves. So I already had some. Um, what size are these? Are these a medium? I've got a little guide on the back. I think that'd be fine. Um, so when I put my nails done and stuff, and sometimes if my hands are feeling a bit sore, I wash up in gloves. Um, and like if I'm cleaning the windows, just so my hands don't get like wet because I sometimes well I do get eczema so just picked up those I got Jake some Reese's peanut cups and you got 5.99p um I picked up some of their own brand laundry cleanser so it kills 99% of bacteria and you add it to your wash I talked about this before sometimes I use the flora but I saw this and picked that one up um then I picked up again just household so just some refuge sacks with the tie handle 
Um, I call these, so Maltesers biscuits. Oh no! Why do I always do this? This is why I was in a rush. That orange flavour Malteser biscuits. Oh well, the orange flavour Malteser biscuits, let's try and be happy about it. So yeah, I don't know if I like those or Jake will, but yeah, anyway, so some orange Malteser biscuits. Um, I got some of the other, some more of those um, biscuits, but with chocolate on, just normal chocolate. Um, blue ribbon so I always find like Poundland and home bargains are really good for like snacks and things um I picked these which I haven't seen before and they're be good um and they're like the I can't think what they're called but there is a brand that these are basically copying um which are more expensive and these are 99p so for peanut nut and fruit bars peanut and chocolate and then I also got peanut and salted caramel oh, drop that um and then I also got peanut and salted caramel ones and then I also picked up Skinny Dream um, chocolate peanut bars as well. So we just like to have these in the cupboard. So like after tea or for a little pudding, um, and then it's not so like not gorging or anything. Then I picked up these Ox Smart Hooks, just because they're always useful to have. And they like don't damage the wall. So they're like the command strips, but also much cheaper. Um, I picked up a new list of day book. So... I've got a soft soft one of these, um, but they didn't have that, and this is £1.50, and what I like is, it's got um, things to do today, and you can just tick them off, them off. I use this for work every day, so I write a list of what I'm teaching, and then also jobs to do as well, so they're just really, really handy, um, so I definitely recommend them for £1.50, who doesn't have a notebook. Then I've got some kitchen rolls, it's a bit boring, but you know, you never know, you might want to see it, and then last thing I got was my dream, Gold bars. So I love gold bars and they were 18 for, um, I think it was one pound fifty or something ridiculous. And then I also got, which all wrapped it in just this massive, oops, so, um, this storage box, which does have a lid, um, to put some stuff for my wedding in. So um, I've got some flowers and stuff, which, like faux flowers, which I'm gonna put in there and the children's, like the ones that I'm making, um, I might show you one day, yeah. Maybe I'll do a wedding video. Um, but just some stuff in there to keep it dust free. So that is everything that I got. Um, bit of a whistle stop tour from the home bargains. Um, as I said, it was a real mixture of stuff, some homeware. Um, sometimes I just like to know what other people get. So let me know in the comments down below if this is the type of thing you like. I think um, yeah, I will let you know how I get on with the cleaning products. And yeah, so if you like that video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for more, don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to tag me in your pictures that you buy with my code. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.